Is he going to keep quiet? Where's your mum? So I she's not in. He just said that he'd have to think about it. Well, what does that mean? I don't know. He was really freaked out, so... Freaked out about what? Just about everything. He can't believe what we're doing and he's mad at me and thinks that I've just been stringing him along. Oh, trust it to be about him again. Come on, if that's the way he sees it. Yeah, well, it's nothing to do with that. I really don't think that we've done the right thing. We should have just denied it. But he saw us. I know that. But all we could have just said was... Well, he's not daft. We've got more chance of getting him on our side if we just come clean. There's no point in lying to well, him. Well, I'm not so sure. Get a grip. What else did you say? Just explain what had been happening. I don't need was really understood, but I'm not sure it helped. It was crazy doing that outside. Well, you know him better than I do. Will it tell people? I just have to pray that he doesn't. I can see you're a damp hand at steak and kidney, Sean. It's my dad's favourite. What proportions do you like? Well, I have... Two steaks to one kidney, and then my dad has 50 50. Oh, we're with you there, aren't we, sir? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'd better bring them sheets in before they get damp. Well, there is something else we could do. Tell people ourselves, and then we don't have to worry about Ryan. Yeah, well, you really ready for all the gossiping and name calling? Because I'm not. Well, you know, it might happen anyway. Ryan opens his gob. We're going to have to face it sometime, Sean. Well, not yet, though. Are you ashamed? No, so very I'm not ashamed. Right, but I'm not ready for people to know either. It was a nightmare talking to Ryan about it. You wasn't there. I suppose. And as we tell my parents, well, I need to come to terms with this before I start explaining to them. OK. OK. We won't tell people. Let's just hope Ryan keeps his gob shut. Did you do what you had to do this dinner time, Sean? Because Sophie said you had something to sort out. Um, yeah, I did, yeah. Well, ask you what it was. Hey, don't go running after her. That's what she wants. Sean! How stupid am I, eh? Lezzy mates, not Bezzy mates. Are you my intent? But you're having a right laugh, aren't you? You don't get it, do you? It's not like that. So I didn't see you two snogging then. Look, I wanted to tell her. But she wants to tell her mum and dad. <laughs> Your dad went postful enough when he found out about me and you. Oh, you're enjoying this, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Everyone will think it's me. Turned you on to girls. Yeah, I'm really loving that. And is that what you think? It's different. I don't know. So how when's to... Sophie gonna tell her parents? I don't know. She wants to tell them before you start telling everybody. Me? Yeah, because you'll tell your mum and then you'll start having a laugh with it with Lee and Phil. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> I won't. I promise. Really? Like, really promise? Nobody? Yeah. Really promise. Look what I said before, I'm. I'm sorry. Now what? Thank you. No. Hi, Mr. State. Hiya. Nobody calls me Mr. State anymore. Uh, it's all right, it's a habit. You used to teach me English in year eight. Yeah, I remember. How do your GCSEs go? Uh, fine, I think. You staying on for sixth form? Yeah, I like school. Don't you miss it? Almost disappointed. Don't be mental. Yeah, but you put an end to all the sneaking around and pretending. Yeah, we're all right. Wouldn't it be nice though, just to be somewhere and just to be? Yeah, but you. Yeah, but I wish that though, don't you? Yeah, of course. I'll be for Australia. 
Australia? Yeah, it's the furthest away we can get. Yeah, like our mum's gonna let us go there. Then we're gonna have to go and wait to you Well, that's no good now, is it? I can't even sit and watch TV without Rosa being sat in the middle of us. I can't like it. Squeezing up to Rosa? No. You can't even hold your hand without pretending to be in your palm or something. <laughs> it means when I do, it's dead special. Does it say we're going into town? What for? Because if we stand here much longer, we're going to get caught snapping again. Come on, let's go and look at tents for our backpacking trip to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> I still like the one that looked like a nickel. Do you reckon we could hire a tent? Yeah. Mm. See, why don't we just go Wales for the week? And it'd be cheap. Or we could just borrow one. Someone's got to have one, haven't they? Hey, bet Graham's got one. Oh, and it'll be a one man tent. Shan! <laughs> I saw the vow of celibacy. Uh, yeah, I did take the vow as well, you know. <laughs> I know that's like with Ryan, but I regret that now. Ryan's just a. I did love him, I think. I mean, did you love Ben? I don't know. I mean, I liked him. I know I liked him a lot, but when we split up, I don't know, I was more knacked and shown up more than anything. Yeah. Must be hard for Ryan, though. Do you really believe that he's not going to tell anyone? I've told you that he's promised. He's cool with it. I don't believe Coo. He is, why well, don't you just go and ask him yourself? No. Best leave him alone, eh? <sighs> All right. Oh, Phil. Well, what did you think? What do you want? I was telling Sophie that he was cool with us, so I just... <laughs> was you? Look, come on, Shannon, I don't think he wants to say it. No. Don't be funny with me. I'm not in the mood, all right? Look, Ryan, thank you for saying that you won't say anything, OK? You shan't. Let's go. It's a pleasure, really. It's not like I've had my mum in the air all morning. Sean will come round. What's up with you? Why didn't you invite Sean round? Why didn't you take Sean to that festival that cost you a fortune? We'll, we'll buy the tickets off you if it helps. Oh, that'd be cosy, wouldn't it? You two go instead. She didn't mean that. And how do you know what she meant? Can you read her mind now? Is that like a lesbian thing? Ryan! Look, I just wanted to help. I thought you might have wanted to get rid. I have got rid of you. You don't think I've got someone else to take? Have you? It'd be none of your business. Of course not. <laughs> but you only came round here for them tickets, didn't you? Ryan, it was you that mentioned him. You know me better than that. Wrong. I don't know you at all. I'll keep your secret, all right? Come round here again and I'll change my mind. Bye. What? Ryan! We was mates before you even got together with Sean, weren't we? You did everything you could to try and split me and Sean up. I didn't. Would well, you know when I told her about you trying to kiss me? Well, my head was mashed because of losing her. Yes, well, there was nothing going on between us then. Yeah, right. And I know it probably doesn't make you feel any better, but it's true. Sean never cheated on you. Why well, you care what I think? You'll only make yourself feel better. When I got to the hospital and you was already there, in bits, I actually thought you'd have got back together. Telling the nurse that you were sort of a boyfriend. Boyfriend. I wanted to die. Didn't know, did you? Look, Ryan, I know how you're feeling. How I feel if I'd lost her. Look, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I don't mean it. Right, you've said it now. We shouldn't have come round today. It was selfish. But honestly, Ryan, we didn't come to try and blag tickets. I'll wind you up. I'll make you feel worse. But we'll stay out of your way, yeah. I promise. Sunshine, there is no point in fretting over something that ain't even happened yet. Yeah, well, it's all hassle, isn't it? What is? Just everything. All of it. Us. Look, Sean, I know we've got it wrong with Ryan, but everything will be OK. It's worth it. Well, I think it is anyway. Forty-five quid each. Stay. Told you everything was gonna be okay. We'll pull some money through tonight. Borrow it. Go him to think he's messing us about. We need a ten. Get going through your phone book. Come on, someone must have one. 
are you two doing up this holidays? I'm not the only one with a job, you know. At least I'm not sweating on the exam results. Oh, neither are we, because we're so brilliant. Sixth form than uni, eh? Yeah, why not? A lifetime of student debt. Well, thick on me. Be loaded. Mm. See ya. See ya. You do know Ben will blood, don't you? You might not. Are you joking? Shine's like the biggest secret he's ever had in his life and he hates it. No, he doesn't. Say it.